guys, it's Hank here, and I thought I'd make a different video than scam baiting videos. It's been a while since I've uploaded a video, but uh, today I'm going to make a software review on a utility for Windows called the Windows All-in-One Repair Tool. It's basically a utility released by TweakingComputer.com that will basically repair almost all these type of Windows related issues on your computer for you and it's a free tool. It basically is jam packed with features and it's like an all in one utility. It has the check disk, it has a file system checker, it has numerous repairs for missing or corrupted Windows operating system files and it's basically a good way of fixing mostly almost all those, these Windows related issues and even it can scan for the malware. It can do all sorts of things. It's jam packed with features and uh, I'll go over them when we get this installed. All right, so the way you get it is to uh, do a Google search for uh, Windows All-in-One Repair Tool. So you can download it from tweaking.com from their official website. I've already downloaded it on my computer. If you read here, it says Windows Repair Tool is designed to help fix a large majority of known Windows problems including registry issues, file permissions, issues with Internet Explorer, Windows updates, Windows Fireware, and more. Malware and poorly installed programs can modify your default settings resulting in your machine working badly or worse. With Tweaking.com Windows Repair, you can restore Windows original sentence and fix many of these problems outright. So this utility basically can really reset almost all the Windows services, Windows file permissions, Windows system files, you name it. I mean, anything that could be go wrong with the Windows operating system as a result of a malware infection. Or it may be that you have a problem with other services such as just Internet Explorer not working, you're not getting Windows updates, or... Or uh, you're having registry problems. It's just got a lot of little utilities which you can get. So once you download that, we'll open it up here and we'll take a look at the interface. It's a very user-friendly interface. It's basically got everything in a all-in-one app. So we're just going to allow uh, this, and what it's going to do is it's going to start to uh, open up here. It's just going to start a checkup to see if there's any missing or corrupted files within the actual application itself. And when you first open this app, it says do a power reset first. So it's going to recommend that you do a proper power reset of your computer by draining all the electricity out of the system. This will properly reset hardware and clear out voltage memory. It also helps since Windows will be restarted after clearing out the memory leaks and not enough system resources or other problems might get in the way of the repair and it basically tells you that if you do that it, it's recommending you to turn off the computer take out the battery wait 30 seconds and let the electricity drain out of the system plug it back in and restart the computer now that's something that you can do before you start running any of these repairs if you're having more problems if you're a uh, computer below you got an, a button right here called reboot into safe mode now you can you can basically boot your computer into safe mode by uh, using the MS config or you can uh, tap the F8 key when you boot up the computer but you can also use this button and that will configure the system to boot into safe mode if you really want to and it recommends you to boot the computer into safe mode to use this app now I don't have a uh, the recording software is going so I ain't going to be using the reboot safe mode feature you can buy the pro version it basically has more features but we'll go over that later on in the video step two pre-scan this tool will do a quick scan of items that may interfere with the repairs as well as identify other potential problems with the system if any files are found to be missing or corrupted from the Windows packages it's highly recommended that you replace these files with good ones before running the repairs windows tools and commands look at these packages files if they are corrupted it will cause windows updates fsc and does not to fail otherwise other research replacing these files may be done manually so if you do that it will basically it's going to do a pre-scan and scan for any potential problems that are going to cause problems run these additional repairs so if i go ahead and click uh pre-scan it will start a scan right and if it finds any problems with Windows packages it will uh, that are going to interfere with the other repair processes 
it will attempt to fix them for you. Alright, so down here we got clean your system from infections, and below you have a link. It goes to their official website. And on here you have all the links to download Malwarebyte. It's a fantastic utility if you want to scan your computer for malware and remove it for free. Super Anti Spyware, another good program, and then you got removal guide videos for YouTube videos that you can take a look at. So those are basically links just to quickly download them. So close out of the browser and moving forward into option free. Check file system optional, very important for doing file permission repair. So if you are having problems with your file system, you can run the check this utility. Now you can access this in Windows yourself manually in the command prompt, but this program is an all-in-one repair tool, so it has it all all in here for you. All you have to do is click check. This will basically check to see if there's any errors found on the uh, check your desk to see if there's any errors found. And uh, if it finds any problems with the uh, the disk it will uh, let you repair them so if you check this section down here it says check disk if needed so if this uh, first when you click here and it finds something check disk will scan the drive for file system errors this is a good idea before doing repairs to make sure bad file systems doesn't cause more problems and you click that and then on the next reboot it will run the it will run a, a disk check for errors and repair them for you all right now going on to option free, we got a similar feature here called System File Checker. This is almost like the other one, just that it does system files. What it does is it will check and scan your system for corrupted or wrong Windows system files. This is a good idea to do to make sure your uh, system files are properly intact before starting the repairs. Click do it and that will perform a, a, a quick check and it will open up the command prompt and it will start to repair those files. If they're corrupted or missing or not. So exit out of that, click backup. Now here we have the option to back up the registry and make a system restore point. You can do this in Windows, but this has it already in the app. So by clicking backup right here, this will quickly create a backup of your Windows registry for you. Before res and it's recommended you do that before proceeding forward with the repairs that we're gonna do in a minute and then click this and this creates a system restore point it takes really fast just let that load for a minute shouldn't take really long you click create and that should have, should have already created us a system restore point for some reason it's taking a little while but There we go, it's done. It's created a system report store point for us. We're all backed up and ready to do the repair. So here's the most important part of this feature. Open repairs. So here is a list of all this type of repairs that you can do. Re reset registry permissions, reset file permissions, reset service permissions, re register system files, repair WMI, repair firewall, Internet Explorer, repair the host file, Commonly, when you get infected with a malware, it will modify the host file, sending your browser to random websites you don't want to go to. Repair proxy server settings is another malware problem. Remove policies set by infections is another common issue you would have when you have malware on the computer. It will change all your your, your, your policy settings. So if you're having a problem, say you can't open Task Manager because it's disabled by a virus or a malware infection, this option will try to will, will attempt to repair that and uh, reset the policy so you can actually get to that kind of feature. So moving down, you got repair CD is missing or corrupted. Repair Windows updates if they're not working. Uh, repair safe mode if you're not able to get into safe mode. Repair Windows installer if you're not able to install programs. And it's got repair. It's got all these different kind of repair options. Uh, so. Uh, now the first three, the reset file permissions, service permissions, and registry permissions are going to take ages to do. So I recommend you want to check that unless you're really desperate. So uh, register system files will also take long. I'm not. I'm going to uncheck that. But if you're having problems with your operating system, you want to keep that checked. 
So what I like to do is just check the ones that I want to really do. And uh, once you've uh, made your uh, once you've made your decision on what repairs you want to perform, all you really have to do is click the repair start repairs, and you sit back and it does everything for you. It's going to open up the command prompt and basically do everything for you. It turns the firewall off and turns it back on and later. It opens up the command prompt. It tries to fix all the issues that you checked. You just have to sit back and this program basically will do the job for you. So uh, thanks for watching the video. Please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. And if this video has helped you with your computer, uh, I'm really, I'll be really helpful if you leave a comment in the description box and uh, maybe post a video up on another website so people can uh, get this utility and fix your computer uh, and take care.